What are the reasons not to move to St. Augustine? You're searching St. Augustine, maybe it's on your radar and you're wondering, hey, it sounds too good to be true. What are the negatives? What are the complaints? What are the cons? That's what we're gonna talk about now. I'm gonna give you three main reasons not to move to the area, plus a bonus reason. So thanks for joining me. I'm Josh Rogers. I'm a general real estate agent here in St. Johns County, St. Augustine. My team and I focus on helping families just like you make the leap to Florida into this wonderful sunshine state. But it's not all sunshine and rainbows, although it is oftentimes. So let's jump right into it. So while it would be easy to talk about alligators and snakes and mosquitoes, that's really not a daily concern and shouldn't be one of the reasons that you don't move to St. Johns County. More importantly, something to put on your radar is the fact that we're a coastal community in Florida and every season there's something called hurricane season. The most active months for hurricanes is likely around that September kind of budding before or after September. Now, while we haven't had a lot of major direct damage from hurricanes, something St. Augustine, especially the downtown area, is notorious for is flooding. So if you're down around that historic area, good luck. You're gonna flood and you just need to expect that. Now, if you're in a new community like where I am now, uh, all this is built to properly address drainage and flooding and the elevation of the land. So new communities really don't uh, get hit or affected by floods. Now, the other part of hurricanes that does more damage than the flooding is the actual uh, high level winds. If you're around some of these beautiful, old, mature oaks, pine trees, then that's where there's more risk for damage is the high winds, knock those over, fall on your house, fall on your car. So hurricanes in the fall would definitely be a reason for you not to move to St. Augustine, Florida. The second reason you may not want to move to St. Augustine, Florida is as a result of hurricanes in the state of Florida, insurance costs have nearly doubled over the past couple years. So personally for my home, my insurance per year was about $2,500 a year. Now it's more along the lines of $4,500 a year. So insurance costs, we definitely don't think will get any lower. The state of the insurance uh, industry in Florida is a, um, a red alert emergency state. It's disastrous because of all the hurricanes in central to south Florida, not necessarily north Florida, but we also have to pay the cost. So the cost and rise of rates of insurance may be a reason you don't want to move to St. Augustine, Florida. Third reason to scratch St. Augustine, Florida off your list would be the heat and the humidity. It's not so much the heat itself because it gets just as hot in other areas of the country, but the humidity is a real thing. If you haven't experienced it, it's kind of like an invisible cloud or blanket that sometimes can feel like it's suffocating. When you walk outside, it just hits you like a wall of moisture. And so your cotton clothes get sweaty really fast, so much so that I even take two pairs of two shirts that I can change throughout the day. So that humidity really sets in end of May and rides all the way through October-ish. Now, on the flip side, that November through April is lovely. It's wonderful. But in the heat of the summer, yeah, that heat and humidity, it's a bear. So how do we handle it? Well, we do what we need to do outside early in the mornings and late in the evenings because the sun and the daylight lasts all the way to nearly 9 p.m. at night. And then during the middle of the day, you're in air conditioning, either in your home, in your office, or in your car. It's just moving from an air conditioning place to an air conditioning place. But that humidity may be a deal breaker and may be a reason you don't want to move to St. Augustine. Another right reason you may not want to buy in St. Augustine is the tourism. So if you're anywhere near the historic downtown or the beach on the weekends and in the prime summer seasons, gosh, even in the winter, because there's a lot of attraction for the Christmas lights. It's called uh, Nights of Lights downtown. It's stunning. It's beautiful. It's got wonderful restaurants and a lot of fun activities and festivals for us local families to enjoy, but that also means you're competing with a lot of crazy chaotic traffic and tourists. So while tourism is the main economic driver of historic St. Augustine, it can get a little annoying to be stuck in traffic. So if that's the kind of stuff that's going to annoy you and having a lot of people in and a lot of people out, 
probably want to take St. Augustine off your list.